Hello everyone, we're continuing the read along. You know the you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Boclair de Alante. Oh, I can't see. Now's my chance. Sorry, Stealth Hope, but there's too much at stake for me to go easy on you. There, all I have to do now is wait for him to come back down and Huh, why can't I move my lance? Hey, 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 I'll, you, you'll need to do better than that to get past my traffic, trusty hippogriff. Ah, Stelfo's hippogriff is perched at the top of Bradamante's lance. I can't believe how nimble it is. Well, don't forget, it can fly on its own. Stare. Hey, Stelfo, that's my hippogriff, is it? Huh? Er, good question. Hey, <laughs> you know, I'm not entirely sure. Because he looks an awful like, like the one I worked so hard to take from an evil mage, Atlanta. So why are you going around riding him like you own him? Well... Hey, come on, I rode him after all that went down, too, so... I have just as much right as you do. Then he really is my hippogriff. Get down there this instant so I can take a closer look at him. I don't know, I mean... Do not let them distract you, Pinky. Look out above. How, you mean the other one's even higher up than me on my for hippogriff? See, si, we luchadoras excel at airborne mobility. A bouncer from the ropes is all I need to get high up, yes? There, that should be high enough. Present in the club. No, I don't know how to pronounce that word. She's gonna power bomb him, hippogriff, and all. <laughs> well, he's dead. Ugh. Damn it! Hold on, I shall come in. Oh no, you won't. Ah, my eyes. It's over. Nostros ganamos. I never heard it. I never get tired of hearing that three counts, no? Whew, we won. Thank goodness. Barely, too. Really barely, based on how I was playing in the previous episode. Oh, really? Another fight? Is it still two only? It is not two only anymore. Hmm. Go here. Go here. I mean, it's not the best idea, but I will do it. Next story part. Now then, Stelfo, where were we? Hey, come on, be reasonable. I can't give you. I can't give him back to you now. He's my noble phantasm. Fine, then just take good care of him, okay? Oh, but more importantly, Regario wrote him too, right? So maybe there's still a scent. There's a still a little of a scent on him. I think he used to ride around here. Or was it here? Uh huh. Squawk. She's uh, really sniffing away there, huh? She's digging her nose into the hippogriff's back with a thousand yard stare. Hey, master, you probably already figured this out by now, but Bradamante's kind of stupid sometimes. Stelfo. A present drop. Hmm. It would seem you have at least the bare minimum of pride necessary for a Santa. Very well, a loss is a loss. I concede and we shall step aside for now, for you. But remember, this is only the beginning. From here on, you will face all manner of aspiring Santas. They may be Santa from the past, like myself, or they may be. No matter. I am, I am the newest Santa and only one to deliver presents while dancing. I fear nothing. Coming around to it. She's feeling the samba beat. Thank you all for your help, Wookie. I was I was really able to relax and focus on fighting thanks to your orders. Of course. She's not just a great manager after all, but she's also got what it takes to be a great trainer. I agree with that, of course, but I must say, I was surprised how serious your opponents were about winning. We should probably expect the other up-and-coming battles to be similarly challenging. Good point. You never know when you might happen to a battle, after all. We need to get ready for anything. Back at the gym. Ah, my beloved gym. So good to be back. Thank goodness we didn't have to say goodbye after our first match. There you are. I've been waiting for you. 
<gasps> Who are you? I didn't come here to talk. I came to fight. Oh, shit. I bet it's Martha. Because Martha is supposed to also be a trainer. And this was a solo uh, rider fight. If I had to take a guess. <laughs> yeah. It's Martha. <laughs> it's not exactly subtle. <laughs> Beat him down, girl. Yeah, she did. No, oh, she's not dead. Never mind. No! God damn it, I hate it when they survive with just a little bit. There. There should be enough. Perfect, perfect. Mm. Yeah, it's figured. Damn, I'm loving this bond bonus. It's really good. <laughs> Alright, zero AP. Any fights? No, so it's just story. <clears throat> full full. Oh good, you're finally awake. <gasps> My apologies for getting so rough. I didn't mean to take it this far. If you really want to apologize, why don't you start by taking off that disguise? Alright, I only wore this because I wanted you to face me without bias. Now that I've tasted your, tasted your strength, tested your strength for myself, I know lo it's no longer necessary. Pardon moi. Martha! Martha? Is in the Saint of Tardis Khan? What are you doing here, Martha? Don't tell me you've entered the Santa Tag Team Tournament too. No, although I did come here with that in mind. I thought if Saint Nicholas wasn't going to be teaching children right from wrong, I would fa it would fall to me instead. I've noticed that lately, people have been asking about why I'm carrying a cross like they have forgotten that I'm a saint and all. Saint at all. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to restore my original saintly image. So just to be clear, you're not in the tournament, right? That's right. I sort of forcefully entered the prelims without Tarsk as my partner, but unfortunately, I failed to qualify. What rotten luck. How could I know? <laughs> I've known a puppy would try to cross the tracks during the train... A train... What? How, what Ron, look, how would I have known a puppy would try to cross the tracks during the train attack event? Well, I couldn't just let him get run over, could I? What self-respecting saint could? I had no choice but to stop the train in its tracks. Couldn't she have just grabbed the dog and run? Four, four. Now I understand. That story tells me everything I need to know about how trustworthy you are, yes? But there's something I don't get. Why would a saint, pure of heart and perfect of body, want to ambush us? Because I wanted to test your strength, obviously. I may have failed to qualify, but I still have to give you a piece of my mind. Not you, Quetzalcoatl. Your religion and this Samba thing are way outside my area. <laughs> no, my business with you. Me? Yes, you. I used the secret move to spy. I mean, observe your first match. And you don't seem nearly as much like a holy knight as you should. <gasps> I can't stand saying you not living up to your potential. I know that you can manage much holier aura than that. Don't you have some sort of divine protection? Something that could emit, emit a blinding white light for a kilometers whenever you make a move? I'm pretty sure I've never had anything like that. But you do have a point, with over half my power gone. I can't imagine I'm doing what I should as one of the King's Charlemagne's holy paladins. I'm sure you're not, which is why I'm here to help. Huh? Training you should prove, if indirectly, that I am not just some rowdy town girl. 
So it'd benefit both of us. So just say the word and I'll teach you everything I know about my holy fighting style. Yes, please. I was just thinking I need to train for the upcoming battles. We've got a coach. Oh, nay! In that case, you're more than welcome here, yes. You can never have too many sparring partners. This calls for a celebratory samba. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, uh, uh. Oh, man, I love this. This is certainly an unexpected development, but it looks like the Caldea team has a new staff member. So let's take advantage of this to get plenty of training for the next match. And I think that's it. For now, at least. Oh, there's day two. Mm. Hmm. Unfortunately, it is getting late at night, so I'm going to have to continue this at a later time. Till next time, everyone. Goodbye.